Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, got a really exciting one today. We had a really good time with Tybar yesterday in Devoted Druid. We will certainly be spending some more time with that archetype, but there is a, a couple other shells I want to try Tybar in. We'll circle back to the elves list too. <laughs> we'll circle back to the elves list, but um, the Defender Tribe has actually been putting up some results in Modern lately. Not a ton, but Nasif has had a few different versions utilizing Arcades the Strategist, a 4-mana 3-4, a 3-3-5, Flying Vigilance, whenever a Defender enters the battlefield under your, under your control, draw a card, and then uh, it allows each Defender to attack as though it didn't have Defender, and deal damage equal to its toughness. So, um, there's th there's been that deck, and then there's been a wall combo combo strategy that's utilizing Overgrown Battlement and Axeman Guardian, each of these cards, um, Tap for a number of mana equal to your defenders, although this one is just green, and this is uh, any number of mana in any combination of colors. Uh, and, th and these cards can go infinite with um, Staff of Domination. If you have five defenders in play, in one of these, you can tap this for five, then you use Staff to uh, untap your Guardian and then for three mana, then one mana to untap your Staff, and then you'll have one mana floating, and then you can... Do that infinite times, make infinite mana. And then with your infinite mana, you can draw infinite cards, which will find you a Karn for a Ballista. So, so but of course, you're going to Karn also for the uh, for the first staff here. And I, I think that Karning for staff is a pretty good way to do it. You know, I don't usually recommend playing Karn in decks that don't have um, tons and tons of mana, but this deck definitely meets that tons and tons of mana requirement. And uh, Tyvar is, weirdly enough, just like an awesome fit in this deck where... It allows you to tap your Axeman Guardians and Overgrown Battlements immediately. You can also minus and get back your Overgrown Battlement or any of your Wall of Blossoms, Wall of Roots, Caretaker. Playing one Walking Bulwark, which is like a tutorable one mana um, <laughs> uh, creatures can attack. I, I, I don't, the number of this is kind of tough. I was kind of high on the card, but I also thought this activated ability was one mana instead of two. It's the fact that it's two mana, I think you, you, think you probably just want to play. One copy as a Court of Calling target. Um, but the deck is sick. Pretty excited. We have the uh, we have the Ensnaring Bridge tech where <laughs> uh, our creatures can attack <laughs> with Ensnaring Bridge in play and your opponents can't attack. So I'm kind of excited for that too. <laughs> Lay a lot of stuff going on. You're wrong. Let's get this. Doom with the raid. Doom is coming hot off a 24-hour stream. Something I've never done. And maybe will never do. But tried Magma Opus show with Hellraiser? No, because, like, again, it's just, like, you, you don't get to control what you hit with Hellraiser. So it's just not good to put, like, cards that are only good if you hit them with Hellraiser in your deck. Yeah. <laughs> Dit City. Population Doom Wake. You gotta go for 24 hours. I would do it for like a charity thing one day maybe, but uh, it, it is, it's just not, it's a tough thing to do. It's a big ask. <laughs> yeah, why are my streams so short, huh? Do you recommend I never do it? Yeah, I, I probably will never do it. It seems like miserable and yeah. <laughs> My brand is usually pretty fried after six hours. What chair do I choose? Well, we've, we've done a few different stuff in the past. It's been a while. Didn't do one last year. What am I doing this year? We did the Trevor Project last time. If I was going to do it right now, I'd probably do, like, you know, support for Turkey. Um, do I think about it? Oh, I do want to do something this year. I was thinking that um, I have a couple Legends packs that I won in Vegas. I was thinking that we could open those during some charity stream this year. Okay, um, I guess we just go for Wall of Roots into Axebane Guardian here. Get a Mana Leak. Ice, okay, so we can go one. We still play that Guardian here. Don't know why they would wait on the ice like that. Um, so we can cast Tyvar already. Let's go and get a Temple Guardian here. Well, the X-Wing Guardian fixes really all your mana issues. And look, th these each are tapping for three mana here, which is kind of crazy. Can't quite cord for t for one. Not that we would necessarily want to. 
X Men Guardian and Modern. Hell yeah, brother. We're in the Ragavan format. X Men Guardian is goaded. Vengevine Bombardment. Cool title. Mill three dies, return creature from graveyard to hand. Cool. Probably. This card kind of is like a, the standout underpowered card to me. I could be wrong about it though. Hold on. No. Alright, rest in peace, sweet Axe Pain Guardian. So my opponent's on creativity, of course. Been a very popular deck lately. I have seven man available to me, which is one short for Karn, Stonebrain, Activate Stonebrain. Can Karn Ballista on one? I think Primer Captain's pretty dopey. Could be wrong. If you're playing blue, Tetsu is all pretty. I mean, Tetsu is just not a defender, and this deck's actually more about like building tons of mana than I think. Uh, it is attacking. Karn coding. Karn coding seems okay. White four bridge. Bridge is nuts in the deck. Bridge with uh, defenders go crazy. <laughs> you can attack if they can't. E E on zero. I think I'd rather ballista on one than E E on zero. Maybe maybe E is zero is better. I like that the ballista is a bit more proactive. If that makes sense. I don't have to hold up two mana forever. Blister Roots to move. That's true, yeah. Good enough. Four, three, one. Thank you for the, thank you for the uh, seven months. Hope you're doing well. So they target the explosives instead of the Karn. So I think we're going to get uh, Archon here, which is not the end of the world. I could potentially cord for one in response to the Archon trigger and sack a one drop here. Oh, they don't have a land. Awesome. Wow, that's terrible for them. Torpor worth the slot. Um, I think you have, like we're playing eight Wall of Omen, Wall of uh, Wall of Blossoms, so I I don't think you want to. No. All right, let's stone bring them. Archon of Cruelty. No! Why? Damn it! <laughs> so I get to the deck deck in a second. Creativity. Well, I didn't. Uh, they have a transmogrify in their hand. They have two bindings, too. Gross. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think in this list I'd be like pretty interested in playing Grief and Fury. I think they work well with Vengevine. They give you like some power, some interaction. They work well with village rights. Like I want to cut the undead butchers pretty badly. I also don't think you have enough discard outlets for Blazing Ruwala. Yeah, only eight discard outlets. I don't think it's nearly enough. And it's not maybe not as simple as just four. Probably cut Grave Crawler two, and then you're on four Grave Four Fury. Four village rights, or like three village rights, three and dying effects, or you can work in the. Uh, you can work in the. Um, so play this. <laughs> so we're gonna get Rex here, right? Because they have a transmogrify. Yeah, like so, you you, you can work in like two Malakiri Birth into your twenty one land mana base. Plus, like, two village rides, plus, like, four undying effects. I think, and the undying effects are really good with, like, Season Pyromancer and, um, you know, most of the deck, really.
All right, Toxic Four. Trample Ward Haze. They have to kill Karn. Whoa, they're not. I guess they have another Binding in their hand for. Yeah, they actually have another Binding in their hand to deal with uh, in Staring Bridge, don't they? Hmm. That's the Rewalla over Ragavan. Uh, there wasn't Ragavan in the deck, was there? Ragavan is not good in this deck. You don't have any removal. But like, I don't. You don't have enough discard outlets for Rootwalla. I don't think you can play Rootwalla. You just have a ton, a ton of discard outlets for Rootwalla. Um. Yeah, I think we have to just grab a bridge. Then I guess I, I maybe I'll just concede because even if I fetch, I'm like, I know they have a binding in their hand. Right? Or do they not know about binding? Maybe they play both of them. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, cast this and hope I'm wrong for somehow. Hey, why might might doesn't do a ton like just getting wall of roots. I'm hoping that I just am wrong and like they already played the one I knew about. And I missed it when I was looking at the deck tech. Um, I wouldn't play Haywire Might in this list, probably. I guess you have some sack synergies. Uh, maybe it's fine. Okay. I don't know. I mean, as soon as uh, Might gets me the bridge back. Well, it gets me the bridge back next turn, right? What are we talking about? Yeah, maybe Might is okay here. I don't like that it doesn't deal with Sanctifier and Vec, though. Like, I, when I was playing Sack, I had like four Path of Peril on my sideboard to deal with Sanctifier. In fact, you might have to do that. You need some answers to them. <sighs> that was so brutal. I thought for sure we were just gonna stomp him with that Stormbrain. Car could grab Richmond under Leyline. Not, not if you're dead. Not if, not if you're dead. But yeah, in theory, yes. I think those are my thoughts. I know, you know, at Fury, at Grief is kind of boring, but I think if it's they fit really well in your deck. If we didn't fetch, we were dead. Well, if I don't fetch, what am I? Am I just going bridge go, bridge go? Don't fetch into into what? Go to go to go to one. Um, have no outs, right? Or you wanted to go Karn for uh, Karn for Haywire might that turn. Into other Karn for bridge. I'm a little confused. Any merit in the Vindroid plan? I think I I don't think the the Vindroid plan is as good as Red Black Sack. Um, I think that it's like in in that deck it's pretty slow. It's not something you could do on turn like two very often. I think Spell Dancer replaced Shredder. I think Spell Dancer is not going to be better than Shredder and and Murktide. I think it's like mostly a legacy card. It works way better with legacy spells and like le legacy format in general than it does the modern format, in my opinion. Could be wrong. Gavin, 20 months ago, thank you. But like, it's you know, it's a 2-1 in the Red and Six format. The one mana spells and their their one mana spells are much, much worse in modern than they are in legacy. Um They're they're like you know copying snuff out on legacy is really sick. I saw an awesome screenshot of copying snuff out on, on online yesterday. Maybe she got Overgrown Tomb instead. We should have plenty of colored mana though. Pretty good turn two. I could be I could be wrong about the uh, spell dancer, but that is my uh, initial evaluation. How about a blue red prowess shell? I think it's you know worse than a, a card of prowess than the blue red prowess shell. Hmm, ping this. <laughs> Birds of Paradise out of the way. Ceruli Caretaker is the new uh the new mana dork. So that can cord for four, five, six, three, Okay, so we'll probably just cord for another X Bane Guardian. Played it in Merc over Shrey look decent. I mean it's a card that like functions, right? Like that's the thing about, like, blue-red threats in Modern, is there's so many good ones. Like, if Ledger Shredder and Channeler and Ragavan and Murktide weren't legal, 
it'd be a card you'd be seriously considering, but um, I, I I think that it is like significantly worse than Shredder. Um, and it, it, and that and that is mostly because it it is a very very fragile two one in a very very red heavy removal format. If red is like less relevant and in modern, I could see my my opinion on the matter changing. I'm just okay. I'm just I'm just trying to make the point, I guess. We'll see. You know, I, I you know I I do also of course encourage people to try new things, but of course there's also like so many things to try. You gotta. In some sometimes some ways stay focused. Okay, get another Axeman Guardian. So much mana. These each tap for five mana of any color combo. So let's go down cord for Arcades. Can I win this turn? Why can't I undo I can't you can't undo the wall of roots mana? I guess not. Kind of frustrating. This it's on me for. I f I feel like you used to be able to undo it. Okay, so we don't have lethal, do we? No. But let me go ahead and play another guardian. I think I want to play this first. So this guardian taps for a bit more. Okay, green. Don't we'll make a black, a white, the green, green, green. All women's draw two. Draw two. Draw one. There's a tie bar. Hmm. So I think I'm okay if they put a Rex in the play, huh? Not a bad turn three. Is that turn three? That's turn four, I guess. Oh, did I, did I miss my land drop? Or... <laughs> I think I may have missed my land drop there. I did play land, so... But I was on the play that game. I don't think I played a land. Maybe I did. Yeah, I don't think I played a land. What about a singleton crater huff? Uh, it feels like really unnecessary. People love just to put like cards that are like, like nev never going to like win you a game that you're gonna lose otherwise in your deck, and just like dead cards. You know what I mean? They just love to put cards that, in your deck that, like, like that that game is gonna be incredibly hard to lose. We have an infinite combo next turn with the Karn, um, <laughs> and it's just like people just they just they they just you just want to put in a card that will never ever win you a game. That you were gonna lose. I shocked and shred. Okay, I, I missed the limp. Okay, missed the turn before. Got it. Might be a walking bulwark kind of game, huh? Assault formation. Yeah, I mean that card's awful. <laughs> Tied with my consent gardens. I played against it one time, but I was playing the uh, rot priest combo deck, and it was you know pretty favorable matchup. I mean, I think Gardens, like, is an upgrade to Titan. I, I really... My my initial impressions are honestly that it's not a huge upgrade. But, like, I, I've been saying this for a long time. A lot of people have been saying this for a long time. But, you know, like... Uh, Titan's, like, been, like, hella underplayed in modern because of the whole Titan's un Titans unplayable meme. Titan's un unplayable in modern currently is, is, like, been, like, this recurring meme for a really long time. Uh, because it's just so funny. The deck is, like, so good and so powerful. And my my initial impression of um, of the Mike and Seth Garden variants is that, like, it, it is an upgrade. But people keep going on and on about turn two, turn three kills. Titan was, like, already, like, in my experience, in my opinion, really consistently killing on turn, uh, <laughs> on turn two. Um... Let's just get the uh, the board out here. Would natural order be okay in modern? Uh, I don't think it would be a positive addition, which is usually my qualification for okay. Would it, would it be a, a net positive? 
And the answer is no. Kill Rin. Um, I can't deploy my hand and kill Rin. I could have. Um, I don't think there's any way for me to kill Rin this one. This is two mana to activate, isn't it? Oh, I can go counter, counter, give this haste, kill the run. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's better. I don't honestly... I maybe would rather have dealt them four damage, though, than kill Ren. I don't know that the Ren really even does anything. You should have killed Ren. I, I maybe should have... I, maybe I should have killed, dealt them four damage, but... Does this Ren and six even matter at all? I know that's kind of a funny thing to say, but it's like... They have no fetch lands. I have no one toughness creatures. Okay, four mana. Okay, so I can spend two mana from the Wall of Roots to give this haste, but that's um, only plus one damage here. I think I'll just go ahead and smack them for 13. I kind of like one grist for a core target. Uh, I I don't. I, I, people love. Sorry, wall of opens. I just don't. The grist is just kind of not as impressive in in like decks that don't have the undying creatures. And like you don't want to be sacking your walls. You need them in play for your like overgun battlements and stuff. I don't know. I I'm, I'm I've become kind of a grist like. I'm not a grist. Grist is really good. I'm not a grist hater. But uh, people do just love it as a one of two to target index where I don't think it's worth the, the option. No, there was, there was one redeemed. There was one redeemed. Yeah, Gris is great in Yawgmoth and, you know, has other applications, of course. Ooh, they're targeting my <laughs> Arcades. That's awesome. Love that. They're super dead. But they get in for four. Yeah, we should be playing more than one of those. So. Ooh, we get to go infinite. Is it worth it? Eh, why not? We're here. <laughs> My opponent can concede at any time. Do I have Boros Hellraiser deck? I'm working on it. I don't have it for today. Got a, like, I have like three new decks for today. Wait, no, this is going to take too long. <laughs> I'll just untap this if they have something. Okay. <laughs> I can still combo kill, I guess. Didn't have mana for WB Walking Ballista? I did. I know. This is lethal, too. My opponent can concede at any time. I'm chilling, you know. I gotta demonstrate the combo. <laughs> but, you know, I, I've, I've been thinking about it, and we'll, we'll try to find a home for that plan. Some mana issues with this hand, but we're gonna keep... I guess I can just like forego mana issues by putting back Arcades and then um, being a bit more in on tie bar, which I think makes sense with this hand. Yeah, the blue red, the blue red Hellraiser deck yesterday was awesome. I had a really good time with it. They see Garden and Amulet. Yeah, it's like I think like Garden is a good upgrade in Amulet. It's it like it increases like your range of nut draws for sure. Um, but, like, to, to be honest, like, Amulet is just, like, really, really good deck that is super underplayed. This is a nice upgrade for it, for sure. But, in my in my opinion, um... Um, do I want... Let's see, let's see what we draw. If I draw a land, I'll probably, um... Ooh, second Battlements. Alright, let's play, let's play with Battlements here. <laughs> Take that, Ragavan. Uh, big Lefty, Tim Musty, thank you. I think they're probably just playing Snow Covered Mountain. It doesn't solve any of Amos problems. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it makes the deck a little bit more powerful. I think that that's, that's something I believe. Um, I think it makes the deck a little bit more powerful. And um, 
and that's good but like but ultimately like amulet has just like been a really really powerful really underplayed deck for a long time now and um it is it is nice to see it get some love but that's that's kind of my current evaluation <laughs> is that people are kind of like rediscovering how just ridiculous the archetype is all right so let's just go tyvar untap here overgrown battlement tap for three play a karn <laughs> not, not a bad turn three not a bad turn three i know it i know it kind of looks like we're playing a meme deck today but we are very much uh very much not i can get the staff even if i can't go infinite i can make a lot of value with this if they kill my karn Yeah, again, I, again, I know that this deck looks like looks like a meme, but I, I, I very much do not think that's the case. Am I trying to convince us to herself? Maybe like a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. I'm at least like admitting it looks like a meme. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to try to find a defender with the minus. And finding one would be a really big deal here. Oh, I did find one, but not one I can get back, unfortunately. So I could have plussed also for three mana there. That's okay, let's just go ahead and draw a card. Bathroom, Tim Lincey, thank you. Gonna make a Pioneer Hammer list that doesn't suck. Do Pioneer, do, do the new Pioneer Hammer, hammer list suck? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I might work it on at some point. Modern is just like really interesting still, but if uh, I ever feel like taking a break, we'll get on that. Oh no. And they exiled it too, so I can't uh, buy back buy it back with this extra Tyvar. Yeah, we'll just untap here so my Tyvar doesn't die to a bolt and then can draw a card now, could draw a card into turn. Let's just draw a card now. I got a floating mana. And then now I have five mana, which is enough to untap staff and then gain a life. Oh, I can untap and then tap a creature too. Can't quite go in for that. I need one more one more defender in play to go in for that. Rock, 24 months, thank you. Ragavan. <laughs> so bad. Cyborg Coffiner's co 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 Urn. Y'all gotta start going exclamation point card when you suggest cards like Coffiner's Urn. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> All right, whenever a creature with power of toughness or greater is put in your grave for battlefield, you max all out of the giving or instep. Three or more cards have an exile or a sacrifice if you do return this to the battlefield. Uh, I don't, it's pretty, it's kind of nice insurance against like a supreme verdict. I kind of like it. Care to take a mod? Dude, this card is so much better than Birds of Paradise. <laughs> it, it doesn't die to red and six in heat. Ah! All right, so they can cast two bolts. They can go ending on Tyvar. They can ending on my staff. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and tap the, the Ragavan now. Yeah, Mike Gets with Gardens is the new hot amulet titan card. Okay, the next one of my battlements, sure. Okay, that's a, that's a nice pickup here. It would be really, really good if I could find another defender off the minus. Let's go for it. Let's go for that this time. Like this time we do hit a wall of roots. So we're still one defender short of going infinite. We could potentially find um, find one here. Uh, that should do it. Assuming I know how this works. We go untap this, then we go four mana, or, or three mana untap a creature, netting us one mana. 
Easy. Uh, no, nothing is as many clicks as, uh, <laughs> nothing is as many clicks as, uh, the dark pool. I woke up today, I said I'm gonna play Axe Bane, Guardian, and Modern. Opponent scoop in. Let's go. W opponent. If you have Batman, so let's click. So yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll eventually win. We'll eventually. Yeah, we'll get we'll get the job. Right, that'll be fine. Can't you just attack for lethal? Oh, yeah, we'll figure it out. I'm not, not worried. All right, deck's perfect. Let's turn it back. Oh, that's true. Battleman is less clicks. That's good. Good hints for the future. Hi, bar. W time bar. Hmm. Are we gonna keep this on the draw? I kinda do. That's so sick. We should mulligan. <laughs> we should mulligan that one. But boy did I wanna keep. Why my opponent still has Ragvan in? Might get, it, might get a hit in though. Not too bad. We can go wall of roots into wall of omens. Get cord for one after that if we really want to. Or Katie's blocks uh, Chandler pretty well. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. This wrong wall. I think they're going to blast it anyways. Pass. Come three months. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Getting t t t t tempoed out here. They have two cards in their hand still. Guess I'm gonna carn for a bridge. Or try to, they're gonna have a spell pierce. Yeah, I mean, have their top decks been flawless or did they just play a channeler? You know what I mean? <laughs> Channeler's just so dumb. Channeler's so dumb and nobody cares. No, nobody knows. Maybe people know, but it's just like... <laughs> Ragavan gets all the credit for the games Channeler wins a lot of the time. Going after me, you got a lightning bolt. Well played, well played. Could board in, um, could board in a bridge or two. Doesn't feel super necessary on the play. Is Channel even bannable? Uh, no, I wouldn't say so. I'm not, I'm not advocating for a van. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Chandler, like, so passively just wins so many games, and they're, like, you know... People go on and on and on about how busted Ragavan is, but I think Chandler wins more games than Ragavan is just the point I'm trying to make. 
Yeah, and your endurance is good against channeling, that's true. There are, I mean, but that's the thing too, it's like, this three mana card is good against your one mana card, it's just like, always kind of funny to me. Endurance is kind of zero mana. Zero mana endurance does not wreck the channeler, though, right? You hopefully can find uh, some top end here. Okay, it's fine. Um, that could do some work for sure. Can't cast it this turn. You will live. x -Bane Guardian, you're going to live. Too soon, too soon to say goodbye. Yeah, we could be, we could be playing more Bulwarks. I think one is like a, a good number, but you could the card's been nice. Giving, giving haste is really sick too, although, you know, Tyberg has like some redundancy there. Okay, Prismatic Ending on one. Then Delirium, so maybe Heat. You'd think that the, if they, they... I mean, they obviously have something else. They would have definitely... Ending the Guardian. Okay. Three cards in my opponent's hands. Thank you for eight. Keep a card on top, that's bad for me. Why not attack for nine? I literally can't attack for nine. Come on, Arcades off the top. Take a tie bar also. What's the spell? A channeler is so good. Three cards in my opponent's hand. Hard for them to be bad after all this surveilling and iterationing. Ending ending's one of the worst ones they could have though. Oh. Rough, rough, rough. Can still draw a Court of Calling, Court for Arcades on their turn. Wall of Roots. Let's not do it. I'll cast it though. Not dead yet, but I uh, did to a bolt. <laughs> That's true. My walls could attack. <laughs> All right, Arcadia's to the best draw. Ah, of course we draw it the turn after our, uh, <laughs> after the explosives me. All right, rough stuff, one one, that's feeling good though. Yeah, the combo is five walls plus uh, Staff of Domination that you carn for. Um. Mulligan. Alright, I guess we put back the second Wall of Roots to go Caretaker into Wall of Roots Wall of Omens. Why do we main board staffs? We have four main board staffs. They're, they're just called Karn the Great Creator. You could, like, I think I think you could main deck four staffs or main deck four Karn. I think that usually when you're able to staff, with, like, I think usually in games, where, like, you just staff, like, the, the extra four mana for the Karn really doesn't even cost you that much. Because you just have so much mana going on. And Karn is, um, you know, a much, much more versatile card. Thoughts on the new Amulet Land? Uh, we've, we've been kind of talking about this to death today. I know it's been, you know, generating some hype. I think that it is, like, 
it is good. I'm happy it's seeing play. Uh, you know, it's it's ultimately for the best that people are registering Amulet again because it's been like criminally underplayed for like months and months and months and months. But like, I think people are just to to a big extent just like relearning that Amulet is broken. Amulet is a broken deck. It is incredibly powerful. It's incredibly hard to interact with. It's incredibly consistent. It's incredibly resilient. Um, all of these things were true before the Mike and Seth Garden tech. The Mike and Seth Garden tech maybe makes it a little bit more powerful, but this is my uh, this is my take. Look, we get subtlety here. Oh, that's awesome. Is that five balls included? Yeah, fifth, including the guardian, five total. Pretty good. Have I seen the Rupri Storm deck? We played Rupri Storm yesterday. Tyvar, huh? It's a lot of mana, but. Why are we playing Lead the Stampede esque cards in our deck? <laughs> Why don't anybody? Why is there never ever a suggestion for, hey Spike? I think we should play Lead the Stampede. Here's what I'd cut for Lead the Stampede. <laughs> I mean, Tybar really competes in that kind of spot. Court of Calling repeats that spot. Arcades card. It's just what am I supposed to do with comments like this? I don't know. Ignore them, maybe. <laughs> oh, um. I was supposed to besage you. I guess it's still land. <laughs> yeah. One minus one Sarley plus one perfect cap for core target. I think perfect captain sucks. I think I think it's like if people have profitable attacks into your walls, they're going to attack. And, like, the extra life it matters a little bit, but it doesn't matter very much. Um, and if they if they don't have profitable attacks, they're not going to attack. And, um... I think that... I, I, I'm not, I don't like the card very much. Also, as far as, like, specifically... Oh, I thought we were going to one. I thought as far as Lead the Stampede goes, um, we're not doing great on our card count for Lead the Stampede. We're doing okay. We have 28 creatures. You probably want, like, 33 for Lead the Stampede, something like that. But you could, you could register those cards for sure. Okay, do you want to bring in all four bridges or just three and leave one as a card target? Probably that. Borg's definitely been good, but I think in this matchup we're gonna be a bit more defensive, so we can leave on Arcades. I'd unironically play Corian over Tyvar. Tyvar's been so nuts, but whatever. That would help you with uh, your lead the Stampedes for sure. This deck should play a one of creature weighted tutor for Karnov Cord. So like uh the seven mana demon. <laughs> I don't I don't know that there is a, a way to do that. Feels like card makes the sideboard shit. Well, this deck could actually run good sideboard cards. I think that that's a fine take. That being said, this is a linear combo deck. Um where you're not you know, incredibly interested in disrupting your um, your deck's linear synergies and for like generic sideboard cards for the most part, in my opinion. Ooh. But yeah, you, you could play sideboard cards. You could play sideboard cards, it's fine. I don't know, it's also like, you know, very classic, you know. Just let, let me cook a little bit. Let me play the deck I have prepped for today. <laughs> it doesn't, it, it, at the very least, it doesn't feel like the deck is 
overcome with problems. You know, it's been it's been performing pretty well in these limited games. Ooh. Okay, thankfully they didn't have a, another two drop to violin block. Yeah, Fish is a really good deck. I agree, underplayed. Oh yeah, they could have Viled it and yeah, that's true. Yeah, why didn't they use the Vile there? How was the first league? This is the first league. <laughs> Okay, fours. So this is nine. I guess I'm not attacking for lethal next turn. Oh, this has vigilance? <laughs> Dude, I did not. I have not played with the uh, Arcades before. I didn't know. Obviously, right? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. Control 2. Yeah, it's hard for me to catch Gab streams, honestly. I would love to, though. Okay, so I think I do think that defense is the most important thing here, but I, I will attack with my Vigilant Arcades if given the chance. Not given the chance. I love how they, they I think they waited a little bit too long on that. That's okay. One more defender lets me go infinite. Um, we are dead to an Island Walking Lord, though, which is never a great place to, to be against Merfolk. Okay, so we are one defender shy of going off with Staff of Domination here. Explosives on two is probably not super advisable. Could Ballista. Ballista kind of plays into counter magic pretty hard. I kind of like just getting a Haywire Might, so I'm not dead to... Um, Needle Mutable? Needle Mutable's fine too. Maybe probably a bit better than Haywire might, to be honest. Are there any yeah, we have one um bulwark in our in our in our board. Do you think one nor to fit into the deck at all? Uh Maybe. I, I'll, I'll say that I definitely like the... I like the idea. I think that the idea is nice. Ooh. Got no cards in their hand, though. We can't get staff into card in the Bork? I don't think so. I, I, I don't think we had enough mana, but I could be wrong. Deck tech for... Yeah, Celeste Duke here and huh? Well, you have the nut, the nut man, the nut curve of Sentinel into um, Aspirin. It's always my favorite thing to do in modern. All right, I'm just gonna get the Melissa. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. They top deck the mana leak. Good beats. Subtlety would be worse. They did top deck a mana league. Ugh. And all I can do is say good beats. Could have played around it, I suppose. Play deck's very similar to this in the past. I don't like this blue splash for the one copy of Slogurk. 
in your Urza Saga deck, splashing a third color comes at a pr pretty significant cost, and I I don't think that Slogurk seems to be particularly desirable here. Get Bulwark next turn, we'll see. We'll, we'll get something for sure. Thankfully, they have no cards in their hand. I'll probably card for bridge. I did leave one bridge in the, in the board, right? Yeah. If that's my plan, I think... Thinning is okay, also. Could attack first. I guess I don't need to attack first, since my creatures can still attack if there's a bridge in play. Which is always so funny to me. Although I, this this can be this can get indestructible, so they actually have pretty profitable blocks. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I don't like the blue splash. Like you don't need the blue splash for Ovar. Your mana gets so much better without it. Uh, over the Slogurk, I would recommend either an Endurance or the 4th Aspirant. I'm not even sure that I love Aspirant here. I'm kind of like down yeah, to try it. I've definitely been liking when I've been registering it lately. Overall, the list doesn't look very different from like when I was playing the Archetype. Um, oh, whoops. Yeah, the deck does not look very different from when I was working on the shell a while ago. Looks pretty pretty nice, but that's that, that's the one thing I would change. Oh, you're only playing one saga. I always like saga. But maybe where's one saga? I don't, I'm not gonna. It's not a hill I'm gonna die on. Okay, we have the combo now. Cool, cool, cool. Let's familiarize our opponent with the combo. I'm gonna just play one more wall here, so I'm netting a bit more mana. I guess I can play two more. Make sure I don't go too low on mana, we should be fine here. Just playing these so it's easier to um, tap through the combo. Ooh, my ballista's in the yard. <laughs> that should be okay. I should be able to Torbon script my own ballista and then Karn for it again. That's, you know, a fine number of clicks. Maybe they'll just scoop to me Karning. I do have one more Karn in the deck, right? Bork, well, I accidentally skipped through my combat step is the problem here. Could just do that next turn, I suppose. Is there a reason to skip through combat? No, uh, of course not. Of course not. Of course there wasn't a reason. <laughs> of course not. Why? <laughs> of course not. It's fine. We'll, fight. we'll get our last Karn. Every time we draw a Defender, drawing a card becomes a little bit cheaper, huh?
Get an elixir somehow? I mean, I, I, I just, I, it, elixir doesn't accomplish anything for me, right? I just, I win when I find my last Karn. Weird I haven't drawn a, um, Tyvar, actually. Is Tyvar good enough to make Fenaris playable? Maybe, probably not. Just attack next turn of infinite life. I mean, I can kill my opponent this turn. I'll kill my opponent this turn, you know what I mean? We have plenty of time on the clock. I know, that's fine. Okay, they conceded. Okay, game three. Yeah, we have a staring bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a staring bridge in place, so they, it's not like they can top deck an island walking ward or anything. But there's just, like, not a good reason other than, you know, not wanting to click a million times, which is maybe a good enough reason, right? Was, what was the Eldraine Wall giving haste? Uh, no, we're not playing the Eldraine Wall. Uh, Tyvar kind of, like, does that uh, a bit better. It was, we're playing the um, Staff of Domination to untap our wall, though, over and over again. All right, hard to mulligan a hand like this. Oh, right, that's right, of course. We were drawing a million cards there. You're right, though. <laughs> we could have gained for the life with the staff, though, which, right, if, if I, if, I don't know why I thought the bridge was still functional there. Uh, yeah, we played Tyvar Druid yesterday. went 4-1 with it after losing round one to burn. Definitely liked the deck. Yeah, there is a defender that lets you tap damage to no defenders. That card's, like, four mana, though, right? Lord of Atlantis. I block. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh oh. Okay, we have the bridge in hand. Hopefully, it doesn't get countered. Three, three, four, four. So we can use Tyvar like a ritual here. Would Aetherflux be too cheeky for a secretary to kill once they've established infinite mana life? Yeah, it would be way too cheeky. There's just like, there's just no reason to play it over the Ballista. Besides like, I, 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 I can't even think of a reason. There's not, there's not a reason. You have infinite cards, infinite mana, infinite life. You don't need to include anything else in your, in your deck, you know? I have a land to play, right? I was thinking I could bait a force with the bridge, but I think with the hex catcher in play, I just don't have that um, that luxury actually. Well, oh, they can sack lords here too. Shrink their creatures. But if they suck this, then we'll have Island Walking. Heard about Rex Creativity, how'd that go? It wasn't me playing Rex Creativity, we played against them. Alright, I'll just. I think I'll just wait. I, I'll cast Court of Calling if I need to get a card out of the hand. Um, we played against it. Uh, we lost game one because I Stonebrained named Archon and they had Rexes instead, and then 
Uh, we won games two and three really easily. <laughs> but I second time bar. I, I I use my green floating green mana, but I think I think that we're fine. Like I, I'm okay. Um, like like taking two damage here. Ooh, we drew an Arcades. Right. So just make Arcades mana. Do I need to be worried about cards getting stuck in my hand? Not really. I have so much mana. I think I'll just go ahead and get a wall of a uh, draw card. One Grist you chop instead of one Arcadia's consideration you can court for it. I, I don't think that Grist is particularly good in this deck. It's definitely been suggested a lot. So if you disagree, uh, you are definitely not alone in disagreeing. But I, I, I am of the opinion that the Grist would not be worth this slot. I think that, you know, again, for, for the most part, like, you have pretty established uh, core targets. You want to get, like, a, a wall that makes mana. You want to get Arcades. You want to get a Bulwark almost every single time. And it's just, I think it's just kind of classic um, too many too many tutor targets uh, syndrome. A very, very common ailment, but... Something that I think is is you know it just, it, you just see it too often. You just see people play way too many tutor targets in the in these decks too often. Okay, so we can go for the combo here. Yeah, bri bridge works in this deck how you want it to work. <laughs> Can't attack with our cages itself. We can we can attack with all of our uh, <laughs> walls. I think this would be okay if you weren't on Cord, but instead on Coco. Could play a companion too. Could play a companion? What companion? Oh, we could play Gigantha? I mean, Cord is so much better though in this deck, I think. I could be wrong. I don't know. Coco, Coco is, is also like. You know, Twitch chatters are in love with the Coco, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, where the list is, to be, to be, to be quite frank. I guess my opponent's seeing if I'm gonna time out. Because we did the combo last game too. It's a lot of clicking, dude. After the Dark Pool combo, nothing feels like a lot of clicks. This, like, straight up is just not that big a deal. <laughs> the dark pool has totally increased my tolerance for click intensive combos it's also like not as bad if you play uh if we, once we get the uh the two mana x-wing guardian in play and then there's a uh, also just our card for ballista Where did they, I mean, they did like F6 and went somewhere because they conceded like after we showed them the loop in the last game. Tim, three months, thank you for doing well. Maybe they have a counter. It's just like if they had a counter, it doesn't matter. One, we'll just, we'll be able to blister again this turn. 
But like, how could they be sandbagging a counter here? Need 40 mana? Boo. Maybe I should uh, draw a card. If I could just find defenders, this gets a bit easier. Okay. Ooh, okay, so now I can cord for two. Now I can cord for the wall that's way easier to tap. Overgrown Battlement. Do you want this chakra curse not? Um. No, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Mm -hmm. Dude, they conceded to Battlement? Why? Good hand. Good keep. It's on a mobile six. What the one time I did a VTuber stream, it was awesome. Like just like not, you know, being on camera is fine. It doesn't really matter, but you know, it's it's like a small amount of pressure that's always there. But being a VTuber is liberation. It's freedom. <laughs> I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. Opinions on about infect mo infected modern three's new set. I don't think it got any better. Um, Unless Rot Priest is better than Noble Hierarch in Infect, I don't think that the deck got much better. And it's unlikely to be, like, a better version of the pop spell archetype than Hammer Time. Even if it is better. That being said, Rot Priest as, like, a Storm card did show some promise yesterday. Okay, so we're up against uh, the dreaded Mike and Sith Gardens deck. So next turn we have not five mana. Wall of Roots would give me plus one. Are we dead? We're unlikely to be dead on turn two, but we could be dead on turn two if they have Grazer. Could you play Rob Priest and the Hierarchs together? No, because Rob Priest is worse than it's worse than the pump spells. Any, it's, it's worse than any number of pump spells. Or like the, your standard number of pump spells, standard number of protection spells, standard number of infect creatures. It's just, there's just like not something you can play it over, I think. Packed for another Grazer. Oh boy. Yeah, cool to see this in action. There's been a lot of hype about it. I mean, Titan's just a great deck. Gardens is, a, is a definitely an upgrade for it. Definitely an upgrade. Excited to see this in action. Elish and Bansel Hoarder, it's not a... You'd have to cut Coco's, I guess. Could be fine. Time for Amulet to go. It's it's probably not time. <laughs> uh, like, two or three days into a new set release is probably not time for a ban. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of people seem to just want to play Infect anyways, which is fine. That's just my opinion. They don't play Valak anymore, so they are likely dead here. No way they do 24, right? We'll just see. I'll just let them do it. We're, we're chilling. We're chilling. I have, you know, seven points of toughness, so, like, you know, I, I can absorb the double strike. Yeah, three cards in hand. One of them is a Smith Growth Chamber. This he do made a pioneer version of Ace combo deck. Was it with was it playing Gwyn the whatever? Cause I don't think that because like maybe it's okay, but like is that what you have to play because you don't have Heartless Summoning? Yeah, I think they need to get Azusa. Dude, my Get Sith Garden sucks! It's not good! It's not good. Look at this. <laughs> Titan used to win on turn two, now it dies on turn two. <laughs> Dude, and, and why do they lose? Because the walls, baby. It's all about the walls. Blocking all day. I remember bringing the bridges. They'll never see it coming. This is a six card combo deck, right? Uh, kind of. <laughs> kind of. I bet you still in the draw. Ooh, I saved you. 
and like <laughs> yeah it is a six card combo deck but you know there's like a lot of can tripping and yeah, redundancy and buzzwords do I besage you the saga don't really want to might have to right on time Seems like it slowed him down a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure we could have been dead there. He does use a rape. Yeah, yeah. Garden stays a copy. Stays a copy. Dude, I really wish that Grazer was a defender. I would be playing Grazer in this deck if it was a defender. Just Caretaker, Battlement. Well, uh, we're gonna cast our freaking walls. Uh, they're dead if we draw a card. Arcadia's probably not lethal. <clears throat> Could be good to, good to hold a caretaker if we drew Arcades. Only have one Arcades though. We also cord. Titan O'Clock. This is just deck for a fun FNM deck. I think that this deck is probably like a step above a fun FNM deck. This deck has been. I think this deck is. You know, I know it looks like a meme. Uh, I think it's a little bit above fun FNM deck even. Yeah, like I don't know how competitive, but. It's doing a lot, I think, in my opinion, a lot of powerful things. Yeah, we do need a companion, huh? It's not fair. I mean, I don't know, it's just... It's really not fair that decks get gigantic for free and some don't. Transmute for Besage, you probably. Yeah. This versus Absent Druid versus Hellraiser Control. I mean, it's hard for me to say. I, I've played, you know, one league with Hellraiser Control, one league with Absent Druid. We got a lot going on, a lot of irons of the fire, and it's going to be a fun journey discovering what is uh what's good and what's not you know but it's just too early to make any kind of uh summary judgments Ooh. wait do they play by consent gardens okay i guess they understood falling so six months like, thank you how many ammo today this is the uh first amulet opponent today we played one yesterday but thankfully, we were on a Rot Priest, which seemed like a really good matchup for a Rot Priest. Play Court of Calling, Fauna Shove over Court of Cardin. I mean, it's. We, I don't think I want to lose Karn. Like you need, you need the Karn or like some artifact for the combo. There's, no, there's no way to get. Uh, Umori, I think. If we draw Karn this turn, we win, presumably. I think it's really just Karn. Let's go! Let's go. Should have saved your, uh, the besage you. Too free for the friggin' bean, huh? Let's go. Three and one's gonna have four one prediction going. Everybody on Twitter, my kids have guarded Titans is broken. 
It's, it's freaking Overgrown Battlement is the new tier zero in modern. But Spike, your opponent messed up and they, they would have killed you to game one if they were a bit more familiar with your deck. You're gonna get banned with that kind of talk, all right? <laughs> okay, let's, uh, well, again. If that hand was perfect, I would have kept it up. Um, I think it's kind of close between putting back second guardian and third land, but I'll put back second guardian. Verdant Catacombs, God of the Shrine, Giver of Runes, let's go. Obviously should have put back uh, the land. Druid, yeah, it looks like it. Probably, oh, Darby's call for Druid. That might be a little slow here. Yeah, Druid seems like a terrible matchup, really. Yeah, we'll also do the, uh, the Fair Breach deck. Druid, yeah, Druid seems tough. <laughs> hmm. If only we were on the play, huh? Might be a little short anyways. Still don't have a payoff. I'm gonna try to find a uh, another wall to put in play. I probably should have actually... Oh, wow, that didn't work out really well. <laughs> I probably should have sequenced this a little bit different. I mean, if we just had a Karn, if we had a Karn in our hand, ah, oh, what an awesome turn three, though. <laughs> Very cool turn three. I believe my opponent, they say I'm dead. I think I'm gonna board in the ballista. <laughs> I think okay. Do I board in the needle or do I? I think I want to be able to carn for needle. Yeah, we've hit a bad match. What can I say? Is the ballista main deck or cyborg protect? Oh, ballista in the main makes it harder to come. No, it's not because it'll just draw into it. It'll be fine. This hand is really, really good if it draws a land. This is turn one Caretaker, turn two Wall of Roots, Overgrown Battlements. This is like the exact kind of hand you need in this matchup to win. I think I'm going to mulligan though, because obviously we just need to rip the land. But it's also the mulligan to six. The popper version used transmute. Dude, people in modern were trying to transmute too. It's so bad. <laughs> so bad. Compared to just playing freaking Karn, I think. Uh oh. Pretty dead. Seems like a horrible, horrible matchup. I like that in this deck you can just minus Tyvar without even anything in your yard pretty consistently. Obviously not 100%. Could have held up a Sage you maybe for Luxier this turn. Alright, 3-2. Let's do one more League with Walls though. This was pretty sick. This was pretty sick. Why do we hold up a Sage you? In spots like, in matchups like this where like things are like really bad for you <laughs> uh and you're really behind i tend to like to take the high upside line i think having the line of my opponent just like not having a payoff there is and they were on a mulligan so it's a bit more likely for that to happen i thought that that was like a fine stance to take like i i always just try to take really high upside lines and bad matchups like that which is maybe which is maybe why i should have kept the the seven card hand right but i think i think it was correct to mulligan it was close at least
Thank <laughs> you.